G'day folks and welcome to the next episode of Reef Today. We're on Tongue Reef off uh, Port Douglas on ABC Charters with marine biologists Callum and Sam. About five years experience out here on the reef. What do you think of the uh, reef health at the moment? There's been a lot of talk of, uh, of bleaching over the last three months. And what have you seen happen here since then? You know, look, we were waiting this year with bated breath. Fortunately for us, it's been a fantastic result. The temperature of the reef dropped very quickly. We had a lot of cloud cover and rain this year, so the temperature came right down. And in the sites we've been visiting, we've only seen very small areas of fluorescing and bleaching and fantastic recovery even in those spots. So the coral's looking fantastic and it's been a really good result for us. Yeah, we definitely had some fluorescing early on, but a lot of it's came back. Only one or two sites really saw any fatality and the rest of it's just bounced right back. Um, I think there's a lot of misleading information about the reef at the moment and we've definitely seen, we've even found some new sites lately showing just how great the Great Barrier Reef can be. Underwater it was just spectacular to see all the different colors and things we had no idea. Since we're experienced uh, snorkelers and divers, we just didn't know half the stuff they were telling us. It was absolutely fantastic. I've done a lot of snorkeling in Hawaii and I sort of prepared myself for it to be not as good as Hawaii and it was wildly better. Very different, a variety of fish, the number of fish, um, the, you know, the differences in the, in, the, in the reefs and coral formations and giant clams and there, there's a lot to see. I'm really glad. Yeah, the clams were incredible. I mean, the colors on the edges, the algae and the way that you could wipe across them and they would just close. Look that guys, there's a very, very young grey reef shark on the bottom there as well. I, I dove it a million years ago and again, like Max said, didn't expect so much um, vibrancy, so much colour. And having Sam and Callum in the water with us as marine biologists to kind of point out fish and coral and give us all these details, I mean it just, it was amazing. It just brought a whole new level of, of an experience to the reef. The, the number of fish, the different varieties, incredible, incredible. I enjoyed snorkeling in the shallows. It was really cool just being so close up to the fish and the reef life. I've never been to the Great Barrier Reef before. I've personally studied a lot of stuff on ocean acidification and coral bleaching. And to me, going into it, I was expecting it to be a lot more lifeless, to be see a lot of dead coral everywhere. But I was shocked and surprised by all the biodiversity, all the different kinds of coral and different species of fish and sharks and turtles everywhere. It was amazing. I've dived reefs all over the world and this is by far the best. I think the only thing you can do guys is come out and see it for yourself, you know. Uh, in 2021-2022 the results from the Australian Institute of Marine Science actually showed that we had the highest coral cover in 36 years on this region of the reef and sadly a lot of that really good news doesn't get out to the public. We can only vouch for our areas but the reef in these areas is absolutely incredible, got amazing coral growth and the spawning events over the last years have been really successful too so there's lots of new coral growing in the area so the best thing you can do is come out and see it for yourself and see how spectacular the Great Barrier Reef is still looking as well. <laughs>